What's up guys, Black Rose Duelist here, and today we're here with, I think, like, the fifth episode, I'm not sure, I haven't been keeping track, of Black Rose Duelist Battle of the Roses Season 2. Um, this is the third duel in a row that, um, Draco Slayer slash Performer Pal slash Perform Age has been playing. Uh, that means if it wins this duel, it will become the first deck to enter the qualification uh, rounds for the champion of Battle of the Roses. Uh, I think eight to this, eight or sixteen decks will be put into the tournament. Then we'll, they'll face each other, and then the deck that wins will be named the number one deck of all time. So, uh, if it wins this match against Ignites, uh, Andrew Waza, or Wa, whatever, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> um, if this deck wins, it will become the first deck uh, to have three wins in a row, and it will be able to qualify for the championship. So we'll do it. Who knows? Um, uh, Ignites are still a pretty good deck. Um, it's never been one of those number one decks, but it's always been uh, relevant. So I start off, go with a Draco Slayer uh, XC along with a Twin Twister set. That way, during his end phase, while he's making his scales, I can uh, Twin Twister the scales. But um, he just goes all out with his Ignite shenanigans. Uh, I decided not to use the Twin Twister uh, at the start, but I choose to do it now. Um, that way he doesn't have any scales, and luckily he doesn't have any scales in his hand. So now I get to go for an Xyz Summon. Um, I mean, not an Xyz Summon, but a Pendulum Summon into both my Draco Slayers, and then I Synchro Summon into the uh, Ignister Fusion, and I set up another good board here. He goes for Upstart into a Reinforcement uh, not really getting anything, just leaving himself open, and I attack the game. So, a pretty easy game. Uh, he's playing a, uh, god version of the deck, uh, like with the Egyptian guide cards. Um, you'll see in the coming duels, uh, they do play a role, but in this game, they were just kind of cloggy. So, um, first duel, uh, perform, help, perform, age, Draco Slayer takes it. Will they take the other two? Other two? Let's see. Okay, game two, um... Ignites choose to go first, and uh, the Royal Magical Library proves to be an extremely overpowered card, enabling him to draw, I think, two, three, or maybe even four cards in this turn. Um, because every time he sets the scale, it counts as a spell card being activated, meaning he can uh, put a counter on his uh, Magical Library, enabling him to draw many spell, uh, cards. So it kind of scares me. There's five monsters, two scales, and a back row, one card in hand. Um, but that won't stop me. I play my um, Clash of the Draco Rivals, enabling me to Pendulum, sum pendulum Summon 5. And then I go into my Infinity, um, so I can take his Royal Magical Library, and then also have four materials, now, or three materials now, so I can negate three effects. Then I go for my Draco Slayer uh, Synchro Monster and XC Monster, basically just crippling his field, and it works out pretty nice at the end of things. Um, so I get to search for with my juggler. The deck's just crazy if you see. There's so many, so much search uh, going on. Um, but this I was so unexpected. He tributes my infinity, my Draco Slayer, C and Synchro to give me a Sphere Mode Ra, which is basically kind of like a um, better Lava Golem. It doesn't have any attack, so um, it kind of really crippled me because I was really relying on those XC Synchros and uh, infinity, but I just make another dragon, um, shovel back his, uh, set card, and, uh, attack for game, so, game two goes to Draco Slayer, four mage, perform pal, whatever, <laughs> uh, will it win the whole match, let's see, okay, going into game three now, if it wins game three, uh, it will be, uh, going on to the final, or, not the finals, but the qualification rounds, um, I start off, I uh, get my perform pals, perform mages going on, but he does the sphere thing again, which again cripples me. That's three monsters gone to waste. Um, so I don't really draw in anything good for a while. Um, I pendulum summon these two guys, and then play the trapeze magician to make it so lizard draw can attack twice, dealing a pretty big chunk of damage. He's down to uh, only 3100 now because of that combo. Um, he gets the sphere mode back, tributes it into a raw. And then pays 1,000 to kill my trapeze. But since he uses effect, I can play my solemn notice. 
some notes you'll see in these uh, matches that it really does play a big role. Um, along with Twin Twister and some other key cards. Um, if you want to see this deck in action against uh, Grail Kaiju or Cosmo, I, uh, I'll have the link to both those matches in the uh, description below. Uh, both really good matches along with this one too. Um, so he goes crazy with the Royal Magical Library. Going to cast Style Gain Room, my Pendulum Skill, so I can't Pendulum Summon this turn, the turn after. Um, he kills my um, Magician Trick Clown, but that enables me to go into Play Mascot. I don't take any damage because Trapeze Mission, and those guys kind of give me a uh, defense here. I draw into another Solemn Nose, which you'll see will be key. Um, he goes into his Slifer, um, and then Pendulum Summons 4. Uh, this would ultimately kill me if I didn't have my Solemn Notice. Sending them all four to the grave. So he attacks with his um, Slifer again. Don't take damage because I don't take any damage that's less than his attack. So I now go for Gunman, leave him at, or Cowboy, I mean, leave him down to 100. Uh, if he doesn't kill the Cowboy, I win. If he does kill the Cowboy, well, I'll probably just find another way to beat him, really. Um, so he Pendulum summons three. I play my other Psalm Notice. All three of my notices are gone now. Uh, but. They were very useful. So he attacks into my cowboy, so now I need to do a play to get rid of him this turn. I, I draw into my joker, then set up the scales to pendulum summon two, going to my infinity, taking his monster, and being him for game. So, thank you for watching this uh, duel video. As you can see, the performer Pell Draco Slayer, basically unstoppable, probably one of the best decks of all time, uh, if not, then dra Dragon Rulers. Um, but, this deck is now entered into the championship qualifier, and now it leaves you guys to vote two decks to play against each other in the next episode. So, one deck for me to play, and one deck for one of you guys to play. I'll randomly select one of you to be in the duel video, just like always. So, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to tell me what decks you want to see in the next video coming Sunday. So, anyways, see you guys later. Um, pretty quick episode. Kind of quick, so minutes, 30 seconds. Anyways, see you guys later.